So what's up guys? Showed you a little bit of the training today. Uh, I wasn't able to make it to jujitsu tonight. So what I try to do is kind of, I like to just kind of flow with a workout every once in a while. Just try different stuff. Um, and just whatever comes to my head and just kind of flow through it. Nice steady pace. Um, and tonight I tried to focus it towards maybe some training that I could that could help me through uh, jiu-jitsu itself. So it's kind of like an accessory work for the sport, and like sport specific I guess you could say. Um, but it really kind of focuses on more of what are some weaknesses that I notice while I'm training jiu-jitsu. Um, I only get to go a couple times a week so by no means am I even close to an expert but I do know some strength and conditioning stuff, so um, I noticed my my week isn't that great. Or my week, my neck is weak and not that great. Um, English is tough. Speaking is tough in general, right? So if I have a weak neck, um, it's either always sore or it's in a weird position. I just got to strengthen up. You see those, you see wrestlers and kind of any of those fighter sports where they get pretty beefy necks. Uh, look at football players and it's um, boxers. Uh, you got to train the neck. So I try to do it in a in a safe way um, with the sled. I use the light weight and I'm just trying to hold that static position, trying to resist that weight as I'm walking with it. So it's a little weird. Uh, I don't know if I would normally like programming that for a regular class, but um, I could definitely feel it. It felt like I was doing something and I'd probably feel a little later as well. So again, just in that static position, trying to resist forward, back, uh, who knows, uh, I'll give it a go. I always test something to see if it has any benefit for me. Um, and then I got, I was on the mat, just doing some core work, trying to stay in that defensive position moving the legs, almost like bicycle crunches essentially, just trying to keep the shoulders off the ground. Because uh, I notice when I'm in that position, I just, you tire out pretty quick. It's a lot of core, moving the hips, uh, the hip flexors get pretty tired holding the legs up and just being overall kind of explosive and being able to work those defensive positions. Um, and this is, again, this is only what I've learned recently, so. Um, I mean, if you got any tips, you've been doing it a while, let me know for sure. And then, of course, just the reverse hyper, strengthening the back. Um, it's always a weakness, especially I kind of learned today. I did box squats as well. And that's, uh, you get a heavy weight on your back. That's kind of one of the first things that goes, the core, the back. Um, you, could, you just lose it. So always got to strengthen that up. Overall, it's, it's pretty quick. Just did a few rounds. Um, I definitely felt it in the core and I think it'll have a little bit of transfer to what I'm trying to do. Um, working those little muscles, just trying to be better. Accessory work, super important. And uh, it's not always just about the main lifts and doing a hard CrossFit workout. So hope you enjoy it. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, comment below and of course, Subscribe if you're on that YouTube, follow me on the Instagrams, and um, yeah, if you have any questions or if you got any tips for me, I'm an extremely new white belt in Jiu Jitsu. The only thing that keeps me going is I am semi-physically fit, uh, but yeah, having some fun, so enjoy.